People, look at what I got. It's a massive beast of a Philips radio cassette for scale. Yeah, it's, it's big. And it just yells 1990, I think. Look at that. It's, it's quite the thing. I'm not even sure what's going on speaker-wise. I think it's like a two-way with a passive resonator, but it actually says six speaker system. So maybe these are woofers. I have no idea. Haven't tested it yet. It may be completely broken. It's got an equalizer, so that's cool. Let's set that to neutral. Let's lower the volume and let's turn on the radio. It does turn on, so that's a start. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So we have sound. That's that's great. Probably the cassette needs some work, but let's uh, pull out this aerial and see what we got. So music rights are an issue here, which is why I keep switching channels. Wow, that's aggressive. There's two of them moving, short wave, medium wave, and FM and long wave. The thing doesn't sound half bad, to be honest. It's quite alright. It receives well, too. So that's good. Yeah, stereo. Not disappointing at all. Okay, there we gotta be careful with the music rights. So I'm gonna turn it down. We have two decks. Uh, this one can record. This one does auto reverse. I just realized it says A, B, and this one has, I was like, they have the same amount of buttons, but this one says A, B, and this one is record. So this is my testing tape, my completely knackered testing tape with nothing useful on it. It sounds like it's running. <laughs> yep, it is running. So it's actually, let's not stop this is it's actually playing a voice recording that i did while there was a thunderstorm going on so does this thing have a built-in microphone mm -hmm. i think it doesn't to be honest but let's try to see if this one runs as well and if it records it's running to my surprise so do we have a built-in microphone the counter doesn't appear to work and i'm gonna gonna uh so, oh it does here you go it says mic right there it's, it's a tiny one though my goodness Anyway, let's see if it works. By the way, the sounds are right, but the six speaker thing doesn't make a lot of sense. I've heard radios with two full range speakers that sound better, but it's not bad. Okay, tape. Seems to run smoothly. Okay, no recording, I believe. No, it erased, but it didn't record. So probably the re record switch is, the, is usually the issue with these. Let's try this again, only briefly this time. No, so it doesn't record from the microphone, but it erases fine. So let's see if it records from the radio. Okay, classical music is always good for music rights, even though I don't particularly like this. Right, let's see. Very faint. So what's going on there? Are the heads particularly dirty? Let's give them a quick clean. Has to be quick because I don't think I'm gonna edit it. This is going straight onto YouTube. Um, well, let's uh, quickly clean these heads, see what it does. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much coming off of them, but you never know. Let's uh, swap the tape around just in case there's something up with the tape. Because these tapes have been through a lot. Let's go radio again. Oh, it stopped. Why? Record.
fuzzy. It, it seems to be an electrical issue, like an electronic issue. So I'm actually thinking that it's still just a dirty switch. No, nope. ah, yeah, that shouldn't happen, of course. Wakey, wakey, switch. recording. That's me trying. Testing, 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 testing. I was testing a switch on another device that, to see what the difference was on the Fisher Price recorder. Uh, it turns out it was a, a switch on the microphone to uh, use it as like a, an amplifier to, to amplify your voice. But apparently it doesn't even erase anymore now. That's not good. Hello? Is this thing on? That's not good. Hello? Is this thing on? It's not just recording, it's recording bloody well, so... Okay, apparently we are recording now. Uh, this is recording from the microphone. Let's switch to radio again. <laughs> and back to microphone. From the microphone, let's switch to radio again. Hmm. So I'm not sure how this is set up. Maybe it's actually this switch. Let's see. There does seem to be an improvement. So this is quite interesting. I think this thing with a little bit of love should be up and running in no time. But let's get a tape that I can actually play without getting music right strike stuff. Is it this one? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be eating tape, so that shouldn't be an issue. Just need to find the tape I'm looking for now. That is a bit of a... Look, it's one of those new uh, new fangle uh, RTM tapes. They are not bad. They're also not amazing, but they're definitely not bad. So yeah, can't find what I'm looking for, so I'm just going to go for a pre recorded one. Because that way at least... Let's try one more. Okay, I saved that in my pick three. Because that way at least we know... What's on it? Uh, ah, this is the one I was looking for actually. Rewind. Does seem to be running quite smoothly actually. I mean, rewind could be quicker, but it does work. Uh, play. Definitely a bit slow and definitely lacking highs there, so let's give it a clean. By the way, it has a, an auto reverse thing, or at least it says AB there. I'm still gonna assume that's. Wait a second. An erase head? A and B? Why does it have an erase head? Probably just for, uh, for a tape guy, but that's expensive. Mid battle, not great. So the A and B is actually not all reverse, it just plays this one and then that one. So weird clicking noise is coming from this one. Let's uh, try high speed dubbing. quick already it actually has a dubbing setting on this on this switch so with a little bit of luck the first bit didn't even record and it just recorded my voice I'm not sure we will find out I'm not sure if it's gonna record at all because of course there is an issue with that we have a copy I'm not sure. Yeah. It's weird clicking noises coming from this. So yeah, That's you can play the tape while recording. That's kind of cool. So and this is normal copying, or is this already high speed? 